Hi, welcome to Mini Shops How to Sculpt videos with myself, Elizabeth. Continuing in my textures and techniques series, I'll show you guys how to make stripes today for rugs or scarves or jackets or whatever. Also, I love seeing what you guys have made. So if you share with me, I'll share it at the end of a video later on if you want. Let's get to it. You'll need a work mat to protect your tabletop. I'm using just a plain old piece of paper. You'll need clay. A color for the stripes and a color that you put the stripes on. A potter's needle would be helpful, or a toothpick, or an X-Acto knife. You can also use a butter knife, but don't use it for food after you've used it for clay. You need some sort of rolling object. You can use anything that kind of is smoothly cylinder. And it's very helpful to have an extruder, but you don't have to have it. If you do, just roll out some strings but if you don't you can roll out strings like so take a little bit of clay roll it into ball to smooth the edges and then put it on your work surface using your fingers to evenly press and as it gets longer evenly press all along if you focus on one spot too much it will get thinner than the rest so just keep rolling it out and just roll it out this takes a long time, that's why I recommend the extruder, which I don't think I paid more than $10 for. So they're pretty cheap. I'll include a link below. I mean, they're not 50 cents, but if you're going to be doing this a lot, they're worth the investment. Otherwise, you can just roll it up, and then you can take the color of your other stripe and warm it up, and then roll it into a ball to smooth out all the lines, and then we'll start to roll it. All right, we're getting there, same evenly focus on a portion. I kind of roll it in segments and just until it gets to the same size of the segment I want. All right, once we have that, two fairly even segments, we're gonna take our backing color and warm it up and then roll it into a ball. You can do this between your palms or your fingers or on your work surface. Then we're gonna squish it like so between our fingers, set it on your work surface and then take whatever object you're rolling with, and evenly apply pressure, like so. Take it up every once in a while, smooth it out, and then put it back down and roll it again. It may be that it just sticks to your rolling pin, but just pull it off and keep rolling until you get it to a pretty thin piece, depending on how big you want it to be. If you're making, say, a little coat, then kind of size it up around your person and see how much clay you need or a skirt, or if you're just making it for a little wall mounting. Now, if you are making it for a skirt or a shirt or something like that, just cut the edges so they're even. It just makes it easier. And it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, take your string and set it down so it drapes over the edge a little bit. And then you can either pull it off or just cut it. Take your next color, set it down right next to it, and kind of give it a little pinch so that they're in line with each other. Then set another one down and continue along. It'll take a little time, but just have patience. And you may find that you have to mo roll more strings. You can tap it to make it even and to make those gaps go away. All right, I'm running near the end of my stripes, so I will trim it. This is just to give you the concept, which you can apply to anything you would like, which I would love to see what you make also. That would be fun. So trim that edge wherever you end and you can leave it like this or you can take your rolling device and roll it out for another fun effect. The harder you press, the more flat it will look. And you can leave these edges on here if you're making a little rug or a scarf or something or you can cut them off and that's how you make stripes. If you're making a rug and want to make it a braided rug, you can make little indents with your toothpick like so. The angles halfway down each one. I'll link the video of how to do that below, but that can look like a little tiny braided rug. If you have any questions or requests for my next video, let me know in the comments below. Hope you had fun. Thanks for watching. Bye.